Hello YouTube, and today we're going to take a look at the Chakra 1703 build. That's the latest at the moment. So, what exactly is Chakra Linux? Similar to Arch Linux, it is a rolling release distro. Except the biggest difference is the fact that Chakra compared to Arch Linux itself is updating only the application packages. It doesn't update its system regularly. So driver wise we don't get the latest thing, it's tested and usually stable. So it's in theory it should be offering a bit more stability than Arch Linux. So here we have the main desktop, it's running KGD Plasma by default. It's a slightly custom team, it's a dark team of KGD. We get this tiny window here that doesn't exactly come with KGD pre-configured immediately. So let's go into applications to see what we have in here. Development, QD interface, nothing here to be honest. Document viewer, we have Ocular, KGD image viewer, paint program, color paint, carbon, standard KGD application, nothing special here. Cloud storage, keyget, yeah, standard stuff. We actually get Kubezilla based on Firefox, let's just go into it really quickly. So yeah, that's Dash. It's based on Firefox, works similar enough, except it's more designed for KHD than Firefox itself. Let's go back here. Multimedia, we have Clementine, Discord link, KHGB. Yeah, I never see Dash next to it. Yeah, it's a strange combination to be honest. Surprise a bit about the Clementine music player. I would expect them to use the KHD player. I can't remember what's the name of it right now. I don't actually use this myself. Office, yeah, it's just nothing here. I'm surprised that it doesn't come with LibreOffice pre installed, but then again, it's not, like KG, it's not the best KHD application. It works, but it's not always. So I'm kind of disappointed on this one. Yeah, system settings, configuration here, nothing, utilities, archive tool, arc, yeah, standard KHD. We have Wim text editor, key writer, which is the Zeus one. Yeah, Zeus Studio image writer. It's a strange thing to see actually in Chakra. And yeah, that that's covers the applications. So as I said before, uh, Chakra doesn't use the latest packages for its firmware, which is basically the kernel, as you can see now. 4.8.6, not the latest, looking back to latest is at the moment 4.10, so that's the biggest difference. But one big thing that is very similar to Arch is that it uses Package Manager Pacman. So as you can see, it's the same exact thing. So yeah, if you if you're used to Pacman, if you use Arch for installing packages, you'll be perfectly fine. I had no problem setting up anything with this. So yeah, updates. Just looked it up. It's not as I to use Pacman because I never used Checker. I was like, great, don't have to learn anything new. I can just use Pacman. So that's that. That is truly a great thing to see. I wish more distributions would just like use the same package managers rather than having like. App get Pacman, I'm sure what Fedora uses at the moment. I think it used to be Yoma, now it's something else. I think, or maybe it's Yoma. I haven't used Fedora for ages now. Last time I tried it was Fedora 25 for like 3 seconds and that was it. So to make things slightly easier for users, Chakra ships with a Octopi Package Manager GUI. So it's very similar to Synaptics, we have a list of packages that are installed and the ones that we can actually install. Whereas for example, I want to install a package, I can right click it, press install. It's going to show up here to list so we can stack up a list of more applications. So let's for example, install something else. Yes, so it's just going to show up here, then we can just apply it. And here it is that we have to run it through terminal. And that's the smallest thing that kind of destroys the whole thing being slightly more user friendly. Even though it is still pretty straightforward, you just have to press Y. It's gonna start, start installing the packages. Still, I think I prefer to Pamac from Majera 17. 
because it doesn't show up to terminal, it doesn't confuse the user. Even though it's pretty straightforward at the end of the day, I think they could try to hide the terminal out of it. Of course, this is not an issue with the chat it's just the Octopi if I'm sure. I'm not fully sure of it, because I don't use Octopi myself. I usually prefer just running everything through Terminal, which yeah, I think that's a small thing that could be removed, for, so I think Chaka could just switch to Pamak, make things slightly more user-friendly. So now let's go into settings to have a look there. So yeah, standard uh, KGD settings. We have backups here, I think that's the default for KGD, you can also go that, so let's just go into it, never seen it myself. Backups enabled. So yeah, version backup recommended. Sources, yeah, so we can pick whatever we want to back up, where we want to back it up, how often. So yeah, that's that. Let's go remove it. Apply check repository editor. So we can add unstable and testing repositories if we want. Great thing. Either to do them on Arch, then again, it's more user friendly overall. So yeah, I think that's mostly standard KGD settings, nothing extra here added from Chakra except for the repositories editor. So before we finish up, let's just have a quick glance at the installation process. The installation process is nothing special, the installer is a standard one that you pretty much see in every other distribution. It definitely, I can see that they put a bit of effort into making a custom scheme, skin for it. The only thing I would complain about a bit is the fact that it has to log in automatically without asking for the password. It's not something I actually see every time in a distro and I think it's a bit of a security risk. So just some tick that box just for your own sake and just type in that password every time you log in. It will be slightly more secure. So yeah, except for that I didn't have really any problems installing it, it went smoothly. It was a bit slow though, I don't know why it took a bit of time, but except for that I have to say it was a solid experience. Overall I found the Chakra Linux to be a very interesting distribution. It shares similarities to Arch Linux being always up to date and using the Pacman manager. But on the other hand it is more stable core, running slightly older version of the kernel. And that means also you'll be getting older drivers. It comes with a non-free driver installer as well for you guys using probably more than likely NVIDIA or AMD GPU. Uh, as well as we have to set up pre-setup, I should say, KGD desktop, which is also very nice and comes with pretty good combination of applications, even though I wish it came with LibreOffice as I know most people would want to use that and install it anyway. So I think they should just include this one. Overall, I think it's a good distribution. I wouldn't really recommend it for a beginner, which is definitely if you have slightly more experience with Linux, if you, for example, use something like Ubuntu-based distribution for maybe a month or two, you should be pretty much able to handle the checker without problems. I didn't have any problems, nothing really crashed on me while I was testing it. And yeah, it's, the repositories also work perfectly fine. I didn't have problems with connection or anything like that. It's, that sometimes happens with smaller distributions. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, press the like button. And if you dislike it, press the dislike button. Remember to leave a comment if you want to see some more videos. Give me, you can give me anything to be honest. I, if you want to see some specific distribution, just tell me, I will have a look into it or any type of video you might be interested in, just leave it in the comment section. And if you want to see more content from me, remember to press the subscribe button, and I see you next time.